Good morning. Praise God. Praise God. Last night I did a series of shows from the bar. Had an incredible time. We celebrated running for president. Got a lot of work to do. A lot of paperwork to do. I'm going to show every bit of it. It's going to be really cool. Um, but I, I want to tell you the most amazing thing that happened to me last night. So I get home pretty late and, uh, I go to bed and I sleep like right away for a couple hours, but then I wake up just in fear and doubt and <clears throat> regret. I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? What am I doing? Lord. So I turned on. E.W. Kenyon's playlist of Jesus the Healer. And it wasn't right at the beginning. It was kind of like from the middle of the video. And it said, by his stripes, you are healed. And immediately the Holy Spirit, this is at like three in the morning. Oh, praise God. Immediately the Holy Spirit like draw really close to me. I felt the presence of God. And you know how when you have your eyes closed, the little white and black like swirls and things can go on in your eyes. And I'm closing my eyes and I'm praying, Lord, I'm sorry, Father. Come to me. I'm sorry. Help me. And I felt the Holy Spirit draw really close and just wrap his arms around me. And then uh, I heard and I heard like a garrison of angels are coming. And then I saw like boom, 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 these centurion looking angels just like pop, 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 pop. This is all kind of in my, my mind's eye. And I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. And then the presence that was around me turned into a giant lion face. And it wasn't, you know, I wasn't afraid. I said, I'm not afraid. And it, it wrapped itself around me. And then, and I'm just like overwhelmed with like forgiveness and peace and joy. And then I see two, I see this bar of soap, this old looking giant white bar of soap being scrubbed on a, like a washboard and getting like really bubbly. And it pulls back a bit and there's Jesus scrubbing these like two, two bars of giant white soap on a scrub board and it's getting all bubbly and soapy and he turns to me takes my feet out and scrubs my feet praise you lord i'm like oh thank you jesus you know and all the I, and i felt even like the peter reaction like lord not just my feet my whole body i'm i'm a sinner my whole body scrub it no and he laughed a little. I felt like you are a lot like Peter. All you need is your feet. And that's that's because we're already saved. You just need your feet scrubbed, you know? You need your daily forgiveness in any kind of relationship. And I go, oh, it's, it's like, oh man. Did I say anything stupid last night? Did I, is this re am I supposed to do this? And it was like, I'm sending angels. And I keep going. I know, I know that the way I'm doing this, the person I am, it's not typical. And I feel like that's exactly what this country needs. That's what my, this world needs. You know, all the leaders that are in this world, they're wearing a suit and tie and they show you what they show you. How can we trust any of these people anymore? Now, in my heart and in my gut, I'm running for president. Not to win, but to establish a platform to deliver a message. And that message is... Jesus loves you. He's coming soon. Okay? But in the meantime, we can't sit down. We can't sit. We have to... Until he takes us home, we gotta 
take action, and especially now. The Epstein stuff is starting to leak. The earthquakes are quickening. The wars are raging hotter. And the exposure of evil is taking place too. The enemy's going to fight, and the Lord, the Lord is going to draw close. All we have to do is stay close to Jesus. Know that we're forgiven. Know that he loves us. And that's the only thing that will empower you to keep going. I almost just deleted everything last night. I was so like just in fear of what am I doing? No, Lord Jesus. A closer, draw, closer to me than I felt in years. And, uh, you know... The wool has been pulled over the eyes of the world for a very, very long time. Since the beginning. Since we left the garden, okay? We've been under the <sighs> mirage of Satan's and the fallen angels in this planet ever since. And the mystery Babylon system, which includes all of the governments rides the beast and it's not America it's not you know Italy you know you know who sits in a throne in seven hills in Italy but it's the whole system and they all are drunk with it even us are drunk with it and that's what makes us so we're easy to deceive because we like it. We like it. Lord, forgive us. Wash our feet. Come, Jesus, come. There's no other answer. Okay, I'm Vivek. Hey, I'm Donald Trump. Hey, I'm Joe Biden. We're going to do this and we're going to do that. That's all bullshit. That is all words to deceive, to keep the house of cards afloat all of it i don't trust any of them they're all lying and lies can be full of truth words now here we are somebody come on feel me i know the lord encouraged me last night so much send your angels somebody prayed for me and i think i had one comment and that man prayed for me and said keep the word of god in your mouth that's it, baby. How well? There's no other answer. My dog is always so scared of like trucks. It's so foggy. So you can't even see in front of you. It's just like the world today. Covered in fog. The fog of war. The fog of Babylon. You can barely see three, four steps in front of you. The Holy Spirit draws close to your heart and inside your mind. And there's the truth. There's only one truth. Jesus. Thank <laughs> you, Lord. There's only one truth. So the rest of it, they can say whatever they want. They can claim whatever they want. I got ideas that will help heal the world and the country. And they're radical ideas. And I want to ratify them legally. Under the Constitution. And that's what I'll propose. But in the meantime, we say come Jesus because we know there's only one answer. Praise you, Lord. The church is still here for a reason. Deposited it in my soul, Lord. In my mouth and in my mind. Thank you, Jesus. You prepare a place for us. You... All things work together for good. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Join me. Do it yourself. Run for president.
go underneath the protection that you have as a citizen to speak your mind. And then the Lord will guide you. I'm not afraid of the evil. My weakness is vanity and fear of criticism. Because as like an actor and a comedian, you know, you just got an artist and a writer, you know, your value is in the response of other people. So it's like I got, did you like it? Did you read that yet? Have you read my screenplay? What did you think of my comedy? Yeah, I saw you laughing, but did you really like it? Oh, how much? It's a, it's a horrible weakness. I hate it. And only the strength of Jesus Christ can give you power to speak the truth without fear. Thank you, Lord. So blessed from last night, man. I don't know if the Lord didn't come to me that close last night. I think today would have been a really tough day. I just, just washed my feet. It was incredible. And it was like shocking, you know. I didn't conjure it up in my mind. It was like I was watching it unfold. Scrub, 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 just scrubbing. Bubbles popping out. It's like, what's going on? And then it pulled back and it clearly was Jesus. And he took the two bars of soap and pulled my feet out from under my bed and scrubbed them. <laughs> Praise you, Lord. And I swear to you, I had the exact same response as Peter. Like, oh... Then do my whole body. I'm such a sinner, Lord. No. You're already made clean. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. He just, it's a daily bread. Oh, wow. How cool, huh? Thank you, Lord. Use this how you will. Amen.